Hello and welcome back to another edition of Snowflake Media Dismissals. I am particularly enthusiastic about giving this subject a hard time because on the front page of the wonderful Metro we have Church. Let kids choose their gender. So now we have two of society's worst enemies joining up to try and create some sort of popular appeal to the young of today and the easily impressionable. Now I'm not really going to um, concern myself too much with what people's opinions are on what I believe but let's put it this way no one in society has the right to tell you what you can and can't do unless what you're doing is blatantly vicious or has violent connotations backing it. But transgenderism is almost becoming a forced opinion whereas if you do not agree with the said position on one's ability to choose sex you are a bigot as if your entire life, every moment you you spent in your life knowing that only your mother could have given birth to you, that's all wrong. You've been wrong this entire time and you should suffer prosecution or accusations of bigotry for denying blatant facts. And up until recently, these conditions were called things like, you know, sexual dysmorphia. You know, it was prescribed as a mental illness. So let's put it this way. If tomorrow I fall under the impression that I am a lemur and I start spitting everywhere, I'd like to think that you people or that my government would give me help, not tell me that I am a lemur and allow me to spit everywhere and then punish everyone else for my mental problems. Everyone else should be expected to call me a lemur and feed me hay because I'm going through problems. And it's ironic the church is now getting involved when they, they couldn't stand it because if I say that I'm Jesus or if I say that I'm a llama, guess what? No one will pay attention to me. But if I say I can have kids, I'll probably get a section in the paper. What is this telling you? The left is trying so hard to break down discussion to virtually squash the minds of the young and old of today to bring us back centuries in our way of thinking all mammals require a male and female and I'm afraid by evolutionary terms to say it natural is wrong because there are mistakes in nature e.g. someone born with a mental illness, a Down syndrome person anything which is detrimental to evolution, e.g. giving birth, because that's the only reason we're here, to continue. Anything that gets in the way of that is an accident in nature. Obviously I don't believe in a designer, but the fact that the design itself has come to what it is would indicate anything outside that normality is a mistake. Someone born with no legs, someone born with a completely out of touch mindset, or no genitalia. This is an accident of nature which hinders birth which hinders you being able to continue yourself. So let's not pretend this is a natural, normal thing. People need help. The C of E's pathetic attempt to slide into the liberal mainstream will result in them being blacklisted by Christianity. Which I certainly wouldn't mind, it's just another problem not to worry about. But how dare you, a man who claims to be modest, yet claims to know a divine message that he can tell people, because he knows God and we don't. How dare he infringe upon reality any further than he already has? So not only is he messing with science in the way of creation, he's now messing with science in the minds of children and their futures. And when I was a kid, I thought I was a ninja turtle. But guess what? I'm not a ninja turtle. So how can you take the mind of a child seriously? Never mind, pander to this. And you parents out there, claiming you have a gender neutral child, allowing them to swap their sex, I put it to you that you are the beginning of the end of rationality, intelligence and to a coherent society built on reason. The day that you can give birth as a man is the day that you can tell children how they should live their life. This is Mr Heretic at Revelation Be Damned. Think for yourself.